And there were two, by, in 1980, there were two major philosophers of science. One was Sir Karl Popper, the Austro-British uh, uh, philosopher of science who taught at the London School of Economics, and his theme was falsifiability. <laughs> that if something is science, then it must be possible to find evidence that shows it's false. So in other words, if I put forward a theory, let us say, about oh, how a chemical reaction occurs, then always it's up for grabs. Somebody might show that it's wrong, that I made a mistake, and that, and that means it's science. It doesn't mean to say you do show it's wrong, but the point is, it has to be open to be so wrong. Whereas if I say God is love, there's no evidence. Nothing, nothing will stop you believing in God is love, which is fine, but it means it's not science. And so this was Popper's position. And of course, the creationists were arguing that their science was falsifiable. However, the other great philosopher of science at the time was Thomas Kuhn who wrote The Structure of Scientific Revolutions. And what Kuhn's idea was, he talked about paradigms, which are kind of theories, only more so. They're kind of sociological theories with all things around them. And so they involve a kind of commitment. And in fact, this is what Kuhn says, is you have a paradigm, you want to change to another paradigm, there's no Popperian falsifiability because you can just keep defending a paradigm indefinitely. What a change of paradigm requires is a kind of leap of faith. And so uh, that's what the creationists were saying. They were saying, we've got two paradigms. One is evolutionary theory. The other is creation theory. At one level, they're equal because there's no way of comparing them. So that means both of them should be taught in schools. If you're going to teach evolution, one paradigm, you should teach creation. If you're going to teach creation, one paradigm, you should teach evolution. So that was the argument that they'd got. And so what I would got to do is show that, in fact, we did not have two paradigms, that there was overlap between the two. So I went through all of the claims that the creationists were making and showed that many of the claims were, weren't the same as the evolutionists, but they were the same kind of thing. They were talking about time. They were talking about the humans. They were talking about all these things. So I said, these are not, these are not separate paradigms.